Hi everyone, welcome to my video series on VXLAN configuration. In this video, I'll be explaining a basic VXLAN configuration between two uh, Cisco Nexus switches. Uh, here, I won't be using any multicast. I'll be using peer IP configuration for identifying both peers each other. Oh, we'll be using low back zero interface as uh, VTAP IPs on both ends. So you can see here, um, there is a basic OSPF setup running between these two. Uh, Nexus switches and I'll have two PCs connected into E1 slash 2 on both switches and I'll assign to VLAN 50 then uh, I'll configure VNI 5000 and uh, configure NVE interface and uh, we'll check the connectivity okay so let's start the configuration so there is no specific configuration here now so we'll start configuring from the uh, from the feature enable we'll start configuring okay so since i'm using ospf we need to enable the feature ospf the command is feature ospf then for uh, vxlan to work uh, you need to give uh, this command xlan network virtualization overlay these two commands are required for VXLAN to work then we'll enable the jumbo frame system okay we'll give the maximum value okay then uh, I'll enable the OSPF process make it as 10 and I'll start configuring the interface so you can see here the neighbor it already identified the neighbor okay so I'll configure the interface interface E is going to be 101.1 slash 30 and I'll add this to OSPF IP router OSPF 10 area 0 okay, I'll go to Nexus 2 feature OSPF router OSPF 10 interface E 1 slash 1 no switch port IP address 100.1.2 slash 30 IP router OSPF 10 area 0 I'll try pinging to nexus 1 ok I am able to reach so now I will configure the VTAP IPs this is 2 back 0 IP is going to be slash 32 
here it is going to be 20 20 dot 20 dot 20 dot 20 I'll add to RSPF and I'll check the route okay here it has come so we will ping to loop back 0 of nexus 1 yeah it is reachable okay next thing i'll be creating vlan 50 and assign the port e022 vlan 50 and while creating vlan so i'll be adding even the uh, vn segment also so that we are going to use in the future for vxlan so vn segment here as you can see here i am going to call give number 5000 vn segment 5000 okay i'll assign the port Now we will configure the VXLAN interface uh, which is in VE1 Source interface is going to be loopback 0 and uh, the VNA which we have configured we need to add that VNA here Member VNA, the VNA number is going to be five thousand. And uh, here we'll be using the peer IP IP address for identifying the VTAP. So if it is uh, multicast, you can give it. Uh, like multicast group since we are using the peer ip so what i'll do i'll configure in ingress replication protocol as static then peer ip is going to be 20.20.20.20 so same thing i'll configure there interface in the E1 okay. source interface low back zero member VNI five thousand Guess application protocol is going to be static here. Peer IP okay, we'll verify the config ones. Yeah, VLAN NBE interface and interface ETH1 having IP. It is assigned to VLAN 50 and uh, my low back is having IP looks good okay yeah okay. 
okay i'll go to pc 50.1 Yeah, I have 50.1 configured here. Yeah, 50.2 is here. So I'll try ping to 50.1. from one yeah it is reachable so that means uh, my layer 2 network is extending over layer 3 this ospf network so i'll verify the command we'll verify the configuration so you can give the command show in ve here detail so you can see here my ps status is up and uh, the vni which i use is 5000 and the command is show in ve vni data plane is using unicast and uh, it is type is l2 and uh, the vlan which i use is 50 okay so <coughs> actually in this video i have used very minimal config to enable vxlan between two switches i hope uh, this video was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video